With estimates showing the population of the Washington region will grow dramatically over the next decade, local government officials are concerned about looming transportation and housing challenges. Today, they release a report that they're calling a game plan for the region when it comes to new development. Our Mike Ganeen joins us now with a closer look. Mike? Kathy, the Place and Opportunity Report was compiled by the Metropolitan Washington Council of Governments. Contributors examined 92 locations across the region, referred to as activity centers, and they made suggestions on how to improve those locations, pointing to success stories like the booming H Street Corridor in D.C. On H Street Northeast, it's not just the streetcar system under construction. The entire corridor has been revitalized. Some great amenities, the bank. I'm right in this building, so I've got the grocery store right in there, good restaurants, but without the prices of somewhere like DuPont or Logan Circle. As more young professionals move here, many are just learning about the history of the 1968 race riots that devastated this neighborhood. I moved to A Street because I think it's a quiet neighborhood. It looks really presentable. Things have gotten a lot better. District officials say that is no accident. We began planning work for A Street way back in 2003. Uh, and we began working with neighborhood citizens then who were, you know, concerned about the corridor. It was the way it is today. There were a lot of vacancies. There were empty storefronts. There were vacant lots. Part of this Metropolitan Washington Council of Governments report, city planners from across the region say D.C.'s H Street overhaul shows what's possible. They also predict other major corridors, the Purple Line in Maryland and the Silver Line in Virginia, will dramatically reshape future development region-wide. I mean, when we get to Dulles and beyond and to Loudoun, that it will be possible to go all the way to Largo, Maryland, without ever changing their seats. Cog officials explain there's no one-size-fits-all solution to development, but in general, they encourage mixed-use, transit-centered planning. The challenge is high-density development can quickly result in a higher cost of living, as residents along H Street have experienced. Some of the buildings on the side streets, et cetera, et cetera, are definitely going up, whereas the new buildings, the cost is already relatively high. They build in the city, you know, they're doing it for whoever can afford. And if you can't afford it, don't mean you dropped out of the race maybe because I can't afford that condo over there. I just have to live where I can pay rent. Now, to deal with those increasing costs, the report suggests certain strategies and solutions. On H Street, for example, the report recommends more efforts to preserve existing affordable housing units in the neighborhood with zoning interventions, tax abatements, and tax incentives. Reporting live, Mike Kinney, News Channel 8.